it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with another Inkfine unboxing! See? I'm very excited to even be here recording this video. Um, the last two weeks have been super, well, last week and a half, basically, have been super heavy with training. I have a couple more days this week, and then training will be over for now, um, and things will get a little bit, little bit more back to normal, but I've had to work at work the last, like, this, this whole year. I've had to work at work. I can't even believe it but um yeah so I um, was able to leave work a little early today and I'm here and it's still daylight enough that I can record this video so I am going to do my unboxing I'm very excited I have done nothing but open the box so we'll see let me get my little notebook set up and then we'll see what's in here my little swatchy notebook I have so much ink to swatch y'all like even though I haven't been able to record a video I have that has not stopped the ink purchasing. Um, remember how I said I was going to do a no buy? I pretty much blew that the first couple days into the month, but now I'm good. <laughs> um, it was stuff that I wanted to do at the end of the year, but didn't get a chance, like just forgot. Um, and then, so I just like did it, but um, yeah. So anyway, so we have our ink flight today. I don't know what is in here. Um, I'm going to move this along and we will um, show you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show, I don't know what the inks are, I just moved this sheet over to the side. Um, here's our inks, um, here's our goodies, we have, ooh, these are cute, the farm edition storyboard from um, Endless, I don't know what Endless is, but it's a two pack of little notebooks, I'm sure the thing will describe what it's for, and then a little sticker, and then a sheet that um, says... January 2021, grow as a writer, some proverbs, some little quotes. How have you grown in the last five years? In which ways do you wish to grow in 2021? Write your answers and share them in our first ever ink journal, ink flight journal dive on fr Friday, 122 at 8 p.m. EST. Register for a free virtual workshop. Oh, that's cool. So cool. If you're in the ink flight, you can go ahead and do that. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. So according to this, um, here's our notebooks, uh, or, yeah, Endless Storyboard Pocket Notebooks, edition to the farm. Oh, they're made in India. They're about pocket size, maybe a little taller than pocket size. I don't have a pocket size notebook nearby to, to measure it, but if they're not pocket size, they're maybe a little taller. Um, three and a half by 5.9. Um, inches thread bound notebooks it's a two pack with colorful um, uh, colorful covers it looks like they might be different covers um, yeah each notebook contains 64 page 64 pages of ink friendly 90 GSM paper with dot grid format so your ideas and dreams to later reap a reality of your own creation. These will be great for 30 to 30 days which isn't until April but um, the farm is a limited edition of 3,500 packs and to provide the bounty of harvest to American families in need, Ink Journal, oh, Ink Journal donated 10 meals through Feeding America for each January ink flight sold. That's so awesome. That's so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what our inks are. I'm not going to look at the paper. I want to be surprised. I love ink flight unboxings. So cool. I don't know if you saw what they are. I, it doesn't look like we have any leaky ones today, but cool. Ooh, okay, I am so excited right now. Califolio, oh my gosh, Califolio inks. Yay, okay, I love. I had been planning on making a wish list of things to order from um, Van Ness, and including Califolio inks, so very excited. So we have Olivost, which if you have watched this channel for any length of time, at least in September, you know that this is a fan favorite. Also, I saw another one that is my favorite, Califolio Andrinople, another staple in my ink collection. This is the first staple in my ink collection. This is the second Califolio. And the rest of these are going to be all brand new. I've never tried them. Mediter I'm not even going to try to say that, but Mediterranean. Looks like a pretty uh, Mediterranean blue. Inti, which is like a orangey, it looks like. Olifants, which I think is a gray or like a bluish gray. It looks can't tell if it's bluish or if it's just gray. Then we have um, sepia, which is a lovely brown, and then granat, which is a lovely red. Oh, I'm very excited. Um, this one, no, 
I think this one was on my wish list to purchase from Van Ness a sample of, and this one, um, and I don't know, I think this one too. So I'm very excited about this ink flight. Yay! Inks I haven't used before, which is honestly these days hard a hard thing to do because I buy all the inks, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. So, okay, cool. So let's go in order of the sheet. We're going to start with Califolio Granat. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and talk about our ink company. This month we fly to the south of France, to southern France, to visit um, Larson Pastelier. The company uses natural raw materials. I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast. I'm very excited. Um, the California collection of fountain pen inks have an international reputation for quality and can be mixed together for a nearly infinite color range of color. So, California granite, um, inspired by granite gemstone gemstones, the rich pinkish burgundy, rich pinkish burgundy of this ink has a demure quality on the page. It's very exciting, very exciting. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm still gonna swatch these, or should I swatch these? I. I don't think I'm gonna, should I swatch these? Oh, I'm doing this real time so you can't answer me. Where is, oh, I don't have my ink flight cards. Okay, I'll swatch them, whatever. I already pulled the cards to swatch them, so I'll just go ahead and swatch them. So, okay, so we will start with Granat. I'm gonna put these in an order. Grenoble, um, NT. Sorry, I'm moving the camera. I think I'm hitting record. I'm sorry. It's all. I'm so sorry. Sepia, Olivas, Olifant, and then Mediterranean. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Yay! I'm so excited. I even found my good, my um, good dip pen. It had fallen off the table, which is why I hadn't found it before. So cool. So we will start with um, Granat as um let me get my little cloth oh i'm so excited i love ink flight day it's my favorite inky day of the of the month i don't know i don't really have any other inky day of the month but um, as always we have our toothbrush holder which is a gray kitty cat that i received from pen friend cassandra and then i have my newly acquired little makeup brush holder holding the rest of the samples that was a gift from a uh, pen friend uh, penny so exciting oh here's the oh that's really pretty I'm very excited I think this is gonna make me just want a larger sample because we all know I do not need a bottle so I'm gonna okay this is ink flight and this is 121 oh let me zoom in Somebody suggested not zooming in, but then you can't see me right. And somebody had already already said they wished I'd wrote bigger. So, um, yeah. So here we go. So I, it's a uh, large uh, pastelier. I know that I'm butchering that a little bit, but I'm just gonna write Califolio because that's how I will look for it. And I did not write. I did not get a good dip on that, so the text kind of stinks, but that's fine. Um, we will. My set, my stuff is like set up differently because I had to move my uh, laptop. I've been playing. In case you haven't heard me mention it before, I've been playing Bloodborne. Like no joke, not stop. I actually beat the game um, the other day because um, I was frustrated. I have like. I have like th three characters going. Um, one of them I've named Dark Lilac. <laughs> it's my newest character. It's the one I'm having the hardest time with. Um, I think that's just me not like leveling it up properly. Um, and also I was I was under leveled for the area that I went into. Um, I feel like I should add more ink to this. But, oh, I missed I missed a spot. It seems like this ink is kind of dry, but I don't know if I just didn't get the brush wet enough. So, okay, so I wanted to add more ink, so we added a little more ink. So here's our Califolio Granat. But anyway, yeah, I, this desk hasn't been set up for work since like December. So um, I had to um, 
Next up we have Andronople. And according to the paper, formerly the name of now what is known as, oh, Edern? E e I don't know how to say that. I'll have to look that up. I love things like this because now I'm going to go learn something. Um, Edirne? Edirne? I'm not sure. Turkey? Andronopa was famous for its red dye. And this color is gorgeous. This is one of my like very favorite inks. Um, in case you haven't heard before. Um, I love this ink. This ink is permanently placed in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Purple Cosmos. I tried one time inking it with a similarly colored ink and uh, uh, chickened out at the last minute and couldn't do it. I was like, no, 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 this is the only ink that can be in this pen. <laughs> I'm not like that with a lot of inks, but I have, um, I have a few of them that I'm like that with. Oops, I have dipped too hard or it touched the, or touched the vial. So here's my inky fingers. This, that's for Yvonne. <laughs> this is Califoli. Folio, Andronoble. Okay, okay. Oh, I dipped way too far in that, but that's okay. Oh, this, it's like a pretty, like, fuchsia or magenta. I don't know, is it bright enough to be considered magenta? It's really pretty though, I love it. I love it. And I first found out about this ink, this specific ink and color on um, the Pen Addict podcast. I think actually the combination, the Purple Cosmos with this ink in it, I'm not sure if it was Brad or if it was Mike, but that was like a combination that they decided to do. And so I'd gotten a sample of it and was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. And I loved it, so now it's a thing that I have going on in my life. So I'm going to move this away so I'm not compromised. I love how that granite is drying, especially where I added a little more ink. You'll see it in a moment. So Califolio NT. And I feel like I... I'm not sure if it's this color. I feel like there's somebody I follow on Instagram who really loves this ink and uses it often. Um, oh, I just forgot her name. Um, but yeah, I have seen this ink in the wild and have never tried it before, so I'm excited to give it a shot. It's a pretty, like, orange. I think. Here's what it looks like on the nib. I'm not sure if it's orange or, like, an orangey brown. So, okay. Califolio NT. That's really pretty. Um, I believe our friend Tattooed Cat might enjoy this color if she has not tried it already. brushes that sucks up lots of ink. Ooh, that's very pretty. That's very bright and cheerful. Ooh, that's pretty. Might look good in that new Lamy, that new old Lamy. <laughs> Safari, did you guys see that? Um, the Lamy Safari, they're reissuing the Savannah Green and the Terra. I don't know, do they call it Terra Orange or Terra Red? Terra. Um, I almost want, I work with a girl named Terra who spells her name like that, and I almost want to get it for her, except I don't know if she likes fountain pens. Like, she's on my team, but she's in a different, um, like, office from me, so I never, aside from a Zoom call, <laughs> I, I don't really like interact with her a lot but 
um, I'm tempted. I won't, probably, because I'd be weird. Like, hi, I don't know you at all. Here's a fountain pen. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it was tempting. So next up, we have um, sepia? Sepia? I'm not sure. I don't know how to pronounce the French um, letters. I should learn. Oh my gosh. I got total guilt. A total guilt. A manipulation guilt email from Duolingo. I was taking German um, towards the... Actually, this is the bad one. This is the terrible... Oh, I just grabbed... Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, that's right. I moved... Anyway, I'm... This is actually the better nib. Or is it? I don't know. This is the one that has the hole in it, and I moved my nib to the other one. And I just forgot. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so we have... Yeah, I need to switch back to the other one. A very pretty brown. I feel like I need to do that squiggly a little bit better. Now that I have more ink on the thing. I like that. I like the second color better. I like the darker, more saturated version. I'm going to put this one away because this is the bad nib. Okay. So how's everybody's new year going? I know I did a currently inked at the beginning of the year, but I haven't really been around since then. Well, no, that's not true. I did those, um, cat, those Ink Institute videos. And I got, I said in that video that I ordered, um, or in the description, I said somewhere, it's very watery on this brush. I don't know if this brush is too wet or what. I um, like the writing, but I don't know that I like the swab very much. Hmm. I mean, it's still a pretty color. I was expecting it to be a little more darker though. That's fine. Oops. Looks like it could have really good shading though. Oh, and I missed a spot. So, oops. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna fix that spot right there. Okay, even on the dip pen, it's kind of like that though. Looks like it'll have really nice shading. So that's, that's exciting. Um, yeah, I just thought it was gonna be darker like it was up here. Although that looks like it might have had something on it. I don't know. That first color doesn't look like it's remotely brown. So anyway. That's what that looks like. This swatch may or may not be accurate. <laughs> okay. Oh, I never read the description. Okay, so NT, named after the... Um, Ancient ink and sun god, this golden brown ink has nice shading. And then Califolia sepia, sepia. Sepia pigment is traditionally derived from the ink sac of the common cuttlefish. This sepia ink has a light, milky brown color. Okay, so it is supposed to be lighter. So I don't know what was happening with that. Califolia olivos. We know what this one looks like. We love this one. Well, I love this one. Pretty olive green. It seems to be a big hit amongst um, a lot of you as well. Um, a lot of you seem to also be enamored with it or at least interested in it so that's exciting um, it's a gorgeous it's a gorgeous color again one of my faves a newly acquired fave but a fave nonetheless I actually, the pen that I had this ink in is empty. That's the one thing about this training. Califolio. Oh, this does not look good, but it's because I didn't have enough ink on the dip pen. So, 
That's fine. I know what this ink is capable of. So I don't care if the writing is 100% accurate because I love this ink. Haha, it's so pretty. So pretty. I love it. I love it. This would also look good in the Lamy Savannah, right? This would look good in anything, let's be honest. I'm a huge fan of this one. And this says the uh, deep forest green ink has a rich saturation and decent shading. That is not a lie. Next up, we have um, California Oliphant, which I believe is elephant. And that's why I think it's a gray. <laughs> Anyway, these cards are like all over the place. I don't have I don't have enough room set because I have just been I haven't cleaned off my desk at all. That was a thing that I was gonna do before the end of the year, and I never did it. So it was too busy too busy playing Bloodborne. That's my life these days. Bloodborne, work and Bloodborne. That will change though. I'll, I mean, not really, but. Um, it will still be work in Bloodborne, but I'll be able to work from home after this week again. Oh, that's so pretty. It is a bluish gray. It's definitely like a bluish gray. It's the color I wanted to paint my room when I moved in here. Or maybe it's, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a blue black or like a blue gray. Oh, it's really pretty though. It reminds me of that um, Sarasa vintage uh, gray blue, kind of, a little bit. We'll see what it looks like in a swatch though. Where's the brush I want to use? There it is. I want to use one of my brushes that like just soaks the ink up because I want a ton of ink on this swatch card and I want to see what it looks like. Like really see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited hockey starts today. My team doesn't start till tomorrow. Go Sharks. But I know that we have at least, oh, it's like a blue black. It's not at all what I thought it was going to be. It's still very pretty though. It's much darker than I thought it was going to be. It's like a dark bluish gray, kind of. Ew, that's really pretty though. It's So I guess it's more of a blue black. What's the sheet say? <laughs> Oliphant gets, oh, okay. Oliphant gets his name from the river in South Africa. This blue black ink has a slight lean towards teal. So I was completely wrong. As it's drying, it does look like it's going to be a little more like blue, black, teal kind of up there a little bit. But yeah, it's a nice blue, black. Looks like it could have like really neat shading. So that's exciting. I'm excited. I love Ink Flight Day in case you um, weren't aware. Ink Flight Day is my favorite day. And then we have our Mediterranean Blue which I think is just going to be another one of those turquoisey blues that everybody loves that I actually am not like, I don't know. There's just so many of them. I just, it's just not my favoriteest thing. They're very pretty and I understand why people like them. Um, but I'm just, there's just so many of them. And I try, I bought and tried so many of them when I first got into fountain pens and I'm just like, mm, no, um, I mean, I liked, I kind of liked them at the time, but I just, it's a thing that I've gone away from. But, yeah. I prefer, like, my, I prefer my blue to be, like, a ballpoint blue, which I know blossomy in a fountain pen crowd. But, um, yeah, the Bic Crystal Blue is one of my favorite ballpoint pens. I like it better than the black because the black ink turned gray. And I like my, I, I have whined about this before. 
Editor. Did I do the XM actor right there? Yes. So yes, a very pretty Mediterranean blue. Close up my dip pen because I am done with it after this. I'm glad it's, I know it's getting um, darker, but I'm glad that my light has held on as long as it has. That one is still dirty. I'm kind of coming at this from a weird angle, so apologies for... So awesome. It's actually not as turquoisey as I kind of thought it was, at least in this, it's, it's just really bright. It's very bright. It's actually kind of pretty. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any sheen in it. It looks like there's a little red sheen in the scribbly, uh, but I don't know if that's like actually a, th a thing that will be part of the ink. Um, let's see what the description says. Medium toned blue ink has good shading and low water resistance. So cool, those are our ink flight inks. So let me go ahead and zoom out and we'll lay them out and show you what we got this month. So, oops, 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 oops. Don't touch my car that's still wet. I'm also gonna show off a really pretty uh, present that I got because I want to. Okay, so we started off with Califolio Granat, which is really pretty. I love, I love what it looks like now that I've added a little more ink. Then my perennial favorite, Califolio Andrinopel. So here's how they look together. This is definitely more of a burgundy and this is more of a um, like magenta. It looks really nice next to that. And then we had, where's the paper? I think then we did Inti, yes. Inti, which I have gotten extra water on, which is a pretty orange. And then uh, sepia. It kind of looks like chocolate milk to me. I'm not gonna lie, that's what it reminds me of. And then we have another perennial favorite, Oli Vost. That is really pretty. It kind of reminds me a little, now that it's dry, it's like a blue, it's a teal black. <laughs> it does, I see the teal leaning now that um, it's drier. So let's, let's move this up a little bit. And then we have our Mediterranean. So let's go ahead and there. So there's our there's our selection of ink light inks today. You can kind of see them a little better. Move out of the way so some of that light shows. So yeah, a very nice selection. I am pleased. This doesn't make me not want to try any of the other ones any less. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, I'm. I am really pleased with today's ink flight. Well, this, we have, here's our notebooks, and our little sticker, and our little paper, and yeah. Oh, also, they usually have a reading list. So, um, the reading selection for uh, this month is The Practice Shipping Creative Work by Seth Godin. I guess it's from 2020, so it's a newer book. Um, yeah, so cool. So, that's that. I love this little sticker. It's so cute. Um, does it say, let's see, does it say who? It looks like it doesn't say who um, who made the sticker. Um, I don't, so I don't know if it came with the note, it must have come with like the notebooks maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not on here, so I'm not sure. So yeah, so if I end up finding out that information or if they include it in the ink reveal um, at the end of the month, um, yeah, that's awesome. So I'm gonna actually move these because I want to show off. I got a very nice present. Actually, I've got, I got a lot of stuff. 
have, well, I don't have, I have a lot of stuff to show you, but I don't have it here to show you. So, um, yeah. So first of all, I have a lovely container of Birmingham inks to swatch. These are from pen friend Casey. So I have those to play with. I have one that leaked. I figured out which one it is and it's one that I'm really excited about. So, um, yeah, so that's really cool. And then, um, I got a lovely present from my dearest friend and it's a rickshaw pen koozie. So that's so awesome. It's in the, um, thistle, uh, Harris tweed. And I just wanted to show you kind of what I was going to do a separate video on it, but, um, um, yeah, I'm here now. So sneak peek. I don't know if I'll do a separate video or not, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to show it off because I don't know when I'll be able to do another video and I don't want to wait. So, um, this is, um, the gift that I got. It holds a six pen roll, three, um, single ones. Actually it holds four, but I, the fourth one, I, it's in my room somewhere. And then I have added like five naked pens. So I'm holding six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm holding fourteen pens in this koozie case, and I could probably add more. Um, I'm thinking about getting some of the actual koozies, like the two and three pen ones, to go along with it. But if you just want the case and you have rickshaw um, products at home already, um, they will fit. So um, yeah. So I don't know. So this is how I do it. I just stick, I just fold the six pen roll in there and I put my um, single ones in there. Make sure they're open. And then I just put my um, single pens in there and then they're like kind of protected. They're not all like touching together. And then I zip it up and there we go. And I could still fit stuff. I haven't put anything in the pocket yet, um, but um, yeah, it's awesome. So thank you. It was a lovely gift from a lovely friend and I love it. And it's been, I've been carrying it with me this whole time that I've had to go to work and it's been a constant companion with me and it holds all my pens. I have written dry most of these pens. Well, not most of them, like four or five of them. So yeah, I've written, I've taken a lot of notes. So anyway, yeah. So here's a bonus, like little, a bonus little peek at a thing that, um, yeah, I don't know that I'm going to do a separate video on it. I might. Um, but I just did it here, so maybe for people who don't watch Ink Flights, I'll do another separate video, but I wanted to show it off because it's my first time back doing pen videos. I also have a crap ton of ink samples to swatch. I'm going to be doing a swap with um, a uh, friend on Instagram too, and so um, I'll be um, showing off what we do there. And yeah, I'm waiting on ink files so I can um, sample up the ink that I promised them, and yeah. So yeah, so I'm happy to be back and happy new year. Happy 2021. It's crazy. It's been a crazy 13 days. Um, what's going on in the world today? Holy cow. Holy cow. Buckle up people. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching and, um, I hope you enjoyed this ink flight. Um, I mean, I had nothing to do with it other than unboxing it, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing the inks and um, let me know if you're tempted either to get a link or to get a box or try any of these inks. I know for sure Van Ness sells them. I'm not sure where else sells them, um, but uh, Google's your friend. <laughs> um, yeah, so, or your favorite search engine. Doesn't have to be Google. I use Google. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, the inks. Oh, if any of these boxes are available in the description box, I will link a box. I will put the link whether you can get the full box or they also sometimes do sample only boxes. So if you don't want the notebooks or anything like that, you can just get the samples. It's a little cheaper. Um, there is a free shipping coupon code also, I believe if that will be also be in the description. If you, it's, only good if you sign up for the subscription and it just saves you shipping in the US I think I'm not sure if it's international um, or not um, but I'll leave that information it's been in the in, in the description box for all my ink flight videos and I'll make sure that it's in there for this one too so thanks so much for watching sorry if I was talking really super fast I'm just really excited to be back so anyway yeah hope you are having a fantastic 2021 so far and i will talk to you soon take care love you bye